children of God are by destiny children of exploits, designed to thrive where others fail, to conquer the obstacles others fear, and to do the impossible. But notwithstanding how great a destiny God has in view for you, you'll need faith to make it a reality. Faith Moments, brought to you by Patrick Fainu Ministries, would give you insight that would guarantee your victory over the forces of poverty, sickness, and disease. It will enable you stand in the midst of opposition. And now, Reverend Patrick Fainu. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hello, everybody. Blessings of the Lord be upon you and your house. Blessings, blessings, blessings. It is my prayer that all is well with you and your loved ones. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. While we... Thank God for another day. God is good. <clears throat> God is good. Um, he, he is good. I mean, He is good. Uh, sometimes we, you wonder, uh, is God hearing me? Uh, well, where is He? And all that. Beloved, I, I want to assure you and I encourage you that um, just know. Just, just know it. Just know it. Because when, when you are in that place of knowing, the knowing will get you through the day and um, before you know it is done mm -hmm. boy am i speaking to myself the knowing will get through get you through the day just know that god is good and uh, he is not going to fail you he's not going to disappoint you and so just keep your trust and believe in him and it's going to be all right if you understand believe that say amen well let's have a word of prayer and then we'll kick off our broadcast for the day father in jesus name thanking you for another opportunity to minister to this your precious people all over the world for those under the sound of my voice ah lord i pray that revelation knowledge of your word will flow freely uninterrupted and unhindered by any religious force i pray that understanding will increase in our lives according to your word in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I welcome all of you again to um, um, Fit Moment, our segment for this is the what, the Thursday segment of Fit Moment. And uh, we've been talking about, I hope you have your Bibles and your notepads ready to take some notes uh, for your increase and um, <clears throat> uh, for your knowledge. Okay, now we've been talking, we've been talking about this series of guidance guidance and um we've been looking at this very important um word in the life of every believer on and, and unbelievers everyone on the face of this this earth now i i said to you that we are pilgrims um on this earth and our journey on this earth we need guidance you know to be able to make ten you know take the right decisions and uh, make the right turns even as we journey on the face of this earth and so um it is very very important that we understand that if you don't take, get the right counsel if you don't get the right teachings if you don't get the right message you are going to first of all receive wrong you're going to then believe wrong you are going to live wrong and you are going to act wrong okay you cannot put um what oranges in and expect mangoes to come out garbage like you i believe you heard that before garbage in garbage out and so it's very important that you 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 guard your heart who that which receives guidance directions advices and all all that proverbs chapter 4 the 23rd verse tells you and i that, that we should guard our heart with all diligence because 
out of the heart springs out the issues of life. And so if you don't guard your heart, you, you may get a wrong guidance into your faculty and that is what is going to come out. It is very important that we understand these things. A lot of people going through, you know, this journey of life on this earth and uh, keep blaming this one and keep blaming that one and keep doing the keep blame. Listen, you have to take responsibility for your journey. You have to take responsibility for your journey on this earth. And that is why it's so important that you get the right guidance or you get the right teachings, you get the right direction. If, if you are pointed to the wrong direction, okay, your journey that may take a day could end up you taking about a week or a month. And that's a waste of time, waste of resources and all that. So it's very, very important that we understand this subject that we're talking about here you have to know that it's, it's important to you because if you don't get the right direction, you're going to end up in the wrong place. And who knows what are you going to find there? Today, as we continue with our series on this subject, um, I, I want to let you understand something in the dispensation in which we are living in from that of the old. God dealt and deals with his people by dispensation and by covenant. We are living in the dispensation of grace and truth. That is by Jesus Christ. We're not living in the dispensation of the law that came by Moses according to John chapter 1 verse 17. We are living in the dispensation. You hearing me now and looking at me, I want you to be in the know. That we are living in the dispensation of grace and truth that came by Christ Jesus. We are not living in the dispensation of the law that came by or was brought by Moses. God deals with people by dispensation and by covenant. I hope you understand that. And if you do, say amen. So this is a very important point for you to understand that. So now to, I want to start with, with us today looking at the dispensation of the old. And I'm going to bring you in. In the days of, the, of old, in the days of old, as God dealt with the people by the law, there was a prophet. And I, and I want to use uh, prophet Isaiah um, for our case study today. Because Isaiah was a was one who also not only prophesied or prophet, <clears throat> excuse me, brought messages from God to the people of old, but he also prophesied concerning our current mediator, the one who is who is mediating between God and us, and that's Jesus Christ. I hope you understand that. He spoke concerning him as well. So I want to use this prophet who God used to speak to the people of old and also prophesy concerning Jesus, um, who is our mediator for this dispensation that you and I live in. You need to understand that there's two, there's, you, you have to understand the difference between a dispensation. A lot of people, you know, just mix things up concerning, you know, the, the old and the new. Beloved, Bible teach us specifically of the difference of the covenants and the difference of the dispensation and so you need to grab that and understand that if you don't if you don't do that you get yourself confused again let me just interject this year in that of the law you were the people there at or, or the or the 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 the, the uh, instructions of the law is for you to keep all the law but 316 of, of, of them. Uh, so 613, I think. You are to keep all. If you fail one, you have failed all. That is how stringent that, that the law was. And of course, nobody was able to do it. Even today, of people who still pick up some parts of the law to want to operate on it. 
you you are, you are ignorant of the you know the the instructions that goes with the law you are ignorant you are ignorant yes the same god but he deals with people by dispensation and by covenant so if you are picking up some of the 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 uh, the, the the old laws to operate on it just to suit you know your interest and all that be mindful that there are there's there's consequences for touching one and not touching all of them because if you fail one as james would say if you fail one you have failed all so you might as well just leave it alone so i don't even know why people and and preachers some preachers are still operating and telling people to operate on this thing here and above all to that the currents associated with it if you are not able to obey all of it well that's not my message or to, teachings uh, today i just want to just you know open your eyes and so here again back to Isaiah. Isaiah was a prophet in their days and their time and he also spoke concerning jesus christ and his birth and all that i hope you understand that so i i uh, and and this is talking about guidance guidance and directions and instructions and, and 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 all that good stuff we're talking about for our lives Isaiah brought messages from God to his people to guide them to lead them to to let them know that he is their God he is their God come with me to um, Isaiah 48 Isaiah 48 verse um the 17 verse that says the lord the bible says watch this now that says the lord he says your redeemer your redeemer the holy one of israel god was speaking to his people in this dispensation the holy one of israel i am the lord your god who teaches you to profit who leads you i want you to underline the word lead who leads you or guide you by the way you should go so this this was a reminder okay through the prophet Isaiah to the people of Israel to the household of Israel God's chosen people in that dispensation in the time and talking about guidance he wanted them to understand and to know that he is their Redeemer he is the Holy One of Israel. He says, I am the Lord your God. He's making his position very clear. Yesterday we spoke about the fact that if you go to God, there is nothing like, you know, plan B. God is and is all. Is he the God of all or he's not God at all? So he is telling them, I am your God. I am the Lord your God. Who teaches you to profit? Isaiah 48, 17. He teaches you to profit. He guides you or he, he, he leads you by the way you should go. So in other words, without his guidance and his, his leading, they could have gone a wrong way. They will go to the wrong direction. They will take the wrong moves. Beloved, today you and I, have to understand this if we if you want to walk with god then you have to take his guidance and his directions for your life on this earth look at verse um uh, isaiah 42 16. isaiah 42 verse 16 he says i will i will bring the blind watch this now i will bring the blind by a way they did not know. I will bring the blind. That spiritual blindedness of people. As, as I'm going to bring the blind. I will lead them in the paths they have not known. I will make darkness light before them. And crooked places straight. These things I will do for them. And not forsake them. God was talking to his people. In other words, he is in the driver's seat. He is the one who takes you to the right directions, through the right directions to 
your your destination he knows how to navigate you to the right place or to the place where you want to be we're talking about God here in the days of his people the children of Israel I hope you understand what I'm saying we're talking about guidance I don't know where you get your guidance I don't know where you get your advice I don't know where you get your directions for for the things you are you are uh, contemplating to do or the decisions you have to make but I'm talking to you and showing you the difference and we're going to come these are the people of all that God dealt with as we're going to see in our dispensation and in our time in a minute okay look at um, Isaiah again look at Isaiah again the prophet Isaiah was very instrumental in bringing the messages of God to his people as, as, at, the, at the time look at Isaiah 58 verse um, verse verse 11 he says, watch this, the Lord will guide you. Underline that word there again. The Lord will guide you continually. The Lord will guide you continually, not sometimes. That is, if you rely on him, depend on him, and he is your God and all that good stuff, he will guide you and satisfy your soul in drought. And satisfy your soul in drought. And strengthen, watch this now, and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. The Lord will guide you. Get that revelation here. The Lord will guide you. We're talking about the people of, of, of old and how God, you know, directed them. But you see, out of their disobedience and think they don't need God and all that a journey that's supposed to take them a day it took them a whole year see that's what happened you think you don't need you don't need him well go for it just go for it and 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 you're going to see that beloved you ain't doing yourself any good especially when it comes to him you need that you need his direction you need his counsel. Look at, um, come with me to um, Deuteronomy 32. Look at Deuteronomy 32, um, 11. Look at Deuteronomy 32, 11. God was, I mean, he, he, he is, sometimes the way he describes himself. Look at it. He says, as an eagle stirs up its nest, huh? hoovers over its young, spreading out spreading out its wings taking them up carrying them on his wings that is how he was to his people like as an eagle stirs up its nest hoovers over the young and and spread out its wings taking them up carrying them on his wings in other words god was to them everything and yet, you got a people who get to a place, it's like, we don't need God. We can do it all by ourselves. We, we, we can do this. We, we can, really? Huh. Wow. And so it's so, so, so important that we understand this, beloved. We need to understand this, though. You need guidance in life. And, and, and the important thing is you need the right guidance. Proverbs chapter 11, 14 tells you and I that in a multitude of counsel, there's safety. Without counsel, the people fall without guidance the people fall without direction that is why it's also important that whoever is leading you as your leader should know exactly how to navigate you to your destination it is very very important gone are the days where ignorant 
made some of us just follow people based on the fact that where we admire them but did they really know were they really hearing and getting the directions from God for us to follow them thanks be to God that we were not destroyed though yes we fell we we bump our heads and uh, and uh, the bumps and uh, the the road bumps on the I mean the, the I mean we we uh, thanks be to God that we were not destroyed based on wrong beliefs on the messages that we were hearing wrong we it, we we believed wrong we believed wrong. We believed wrong. And therefore, we believed wrong. And therefore, we, we fell so many times. And so, it is my prayer that, beloved, henceforth, whatever decision you want to take, the Bible says in James chapter 1 verse 5 if you lack wisdom in whatever that situation is ask God ask God whatever the whatever the decision you want to take whatever direction you want to take and you don't know how to go about it ask God the Bible says It is so so important because because beloved if you don't do that if you do not do that you will make mistakes and mistakes are very costly oh boy mistakes are very costly sometimes sometimes you may not have the opportunity to correct it sometimes you may not have the opportunity to correct that, that mistake I know what I'm talking about I've been in one or two that is like, well, it's gone. Let, then you have to cultivate the attitude, the time, and all that to let it go. Beloved, I mean, why do you want to make mistakes? Only a fool will say, you know what, well, let me make my own mistakes. And, and, I'll, call, uh, and, 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 and I'll, I'll, I'll work it out myself. You're a fool. Why do you want to ignore a good counsel, a good direction to go and make your own mistake? Huh. In the days of David, in the days of David, David was one that looked up to God and speak to God for directions and, and for guidance. Even with all that, he still made some mistakes. So imagine if if he was not consulting with God uh, as to go to war. Or should I go? Would I be successful? Should I do this and all that? And the times that he did not, he made a lot of mistakes. Costly mistakes. What the Bible said was a time where kings go to battle. Kings go to battle. David was supposed to go to battle. He did not consult God if or for guidance. Should I stay home? He decided, Bible said he decided to stay home. Not getting busy for God, the devil employed his services. Show him some beautiful thing in his eyes, and I, I mean he could not resist. And the rest of the story, man, I tell you, was something else. Mm-hmm. And as you know it, took somebody's wife and 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 go and read the rest of the story. But I'm I'm just giving you some instances for you to know the importance of getting the right guidance. If you don't know how you don't have nobody in your life that you believe that the spirit of the Lord is in that individual to be able to guide you and, and give you good counsel and all that, beloved. You speak to God. 
Don't think that he doesn't hear you. As now, if you have a relationship with him through his son, Jesus Christ, that is. I want to make sure that I clarify that. Talk to him. Come with me to Psalms chapter 73. Psalms chapter 73. Listen to, to, uh, to David. Psalms 73. Look up. Let's read from the 24th verse. It says, you will guide me. You will guide me with your counsel. And afterward, receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon the earth that I desire besides you. Wow. Wow. There's none upon the earth that I desire besides you, except you, Lord. Mm, 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 mm. That guy, I mean, he's, he's one of the of a character. David was, was one of the of, of a character. I admire. I admire him. Because he knew who he was too. The irrespective, David was the one that even when he had sinned or fallen, boy, he runs to God because he knows that with God, he can have some security in the hands of man. Whew. If anyone lacks wisdom, so whichever direction you want to go, whichever decision you want to take, Beloved, we're talking about the subject of guidance. The synonyms of guidance. The synonym of guidance, you can find teaching. Like I'm doing now, I'm teaching. Direction, instruction, counsel, and all that. Very, very, very important and powerful. Beloved, we cannot just pick up as we used to and just keep going without the right guidance, without the right direction, without the right place that we ought to, the right path that we ought to take. Come with me to Proverbs chapter 24. Verse 6. Let's read that. Proverbs 24, verse 6. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 24, verse 6. Open your Bibles. I know you, you, you already have that, but I want to show you something here. Very important. Proverbs 24, verse 6. Look at it. For by wise counsel, by wise counsel, that means, and I believe that, that the opposite of that could will be by by foolish counsel. Hmm. And we so we, we also see that in the days of Ahithophel gave a foolish counsel. By wise counsel, you will wage watch watch this now. You will wage your own war. By wise counsel, you will wage your own, not somebody's war, by your own. You will take up, you will, you will, you will, you will deal with your own issue by wise counsel. Everybody got an issue. Everybody got an issue. And you will wage your own war by wise counsel. That means by foolish counsel or by foolish guidance. And it says, by wise counsel, you wage your own war. And in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. In the multitude of counselors, there is safety. By wise counsel, you will wage your own war. By foolish counsel, whoo, you need to fill in the blanks. Beloved, this, this, this is so, so important that we, we cannot ignore we cannot ignore and think that, you know, because we have prayed, you know, things are going to turn around. Well, listen, yes, you prayed. Your prayer is communicating with your father, your maker. But then he is the one who guides you. 
and tell you to do this and all that. His spirit is with us. Jesus says, he said, oh boy, here, oh boy, 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 let me take you now to the place. Now, in the days of Jesus, watch this now. Jesus, oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Jesus says, I tell you the truth. Look at, um, come with me to John, John the, um, um, let's look at John chapter, John chapter, John chapter 10, John chapter 10. Look at the 27 verse. Jesus speaking here, my sheep hears my voice and I know them and they follow me. My sheep hears my voice. I know them and they follow me. They follow me. They follow me. Beloved, if, if you are born again, if you follow Christ, don't turn your back. Look at John chapter 10 verse, uh, verse 4. He says, when he, when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them and the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. They know his voice. Are you hearing the voice of your master and his spirit? Are you hearing his voice? Are you hearing his voice? Jesus, prior to the, uh, his departure, said that uh, he's going to ask the Father to send us a helper. And that this helper, when he comes, he will guide us to all truth. Come with me to same John, the same book of John, Look at, um, look at um, verse, um, verse, chapter 16, John 16. Look at John chapter 16, the seventh verse. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage. I'm talking about his, his de, prior to his departure. It is to your advantage that I go away, Jesus says. For you do, if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him, the helper, to you. It is to your advantage and to my advantage. If, if I don't go, I, I, the helper cannot come. So it's, it's to your advantage, he says. And however, verse, look at chapter 16, verse 13. However, when he, the helper, comes, the spirit of truth, when he has come, he will guide you. Look at that word there again. He will guide you. In our dispensation, in our time, the Holy Spirit is our guide. The Holy Spirit is our, our, our director. He's, he's, he's the one who, who ushers us into the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Look at that again. However, when He, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all, underline all, all truth. All truth. He will guide you into all truth. For he will not, he, the Spirit, will not, will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. So in other words, Jesus is still our shepherd. However, his spirit, his messenger, or his, his the director is here, guiding us, giving us the guidance. And that is why it's so important that you must adhere to the directives of the Holy Spirit. He says, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth. He will guide you. 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 Who will guide you? The spirit of truth. Who is guiding you now? In our dispensation, in our time. I spoke to you about that before. We, we, we are living in a different dispensation and a different covenant. We are not living in the dispensation of the old. And we are not operating or living by the old covenant. We are living in a different dispensation. We are living in the dispensation of grace and truth. And we are living according to the covenant, the new covenant by Christ Jesus. 
the new covenant. We are not you need beloved. A lot I see a lot of people still make this mistake, and they haven't gotten it. You need to understand God deals with people by covenant and by dispensation. We are living in a different dispensation, we are living in different covenant under a different covenant. You need to get that. And so, who in this dispensation will guide you and me? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Without the, without the guidance, well, you go array. I hope you're understanding this. So you need to you need to make sure that if you are born again, spirit spirit feel jesus says he says when he comes he will be what look at um john chapter 14. look at the 14 chapter the 16 17 verse jesus says and i'll pray the father and he will give you another helper and that he the helper will abide with you forever he will abide with you forever the holy spirit is with us he is with us he's here he is in you. If he is in you and is abiding with you, you might as well listen for his guidance. Listen for his guidance. Obey his guidance. He knows what is man. I'm telling boy, Patrick, you you are teaching stuff stuff like this. Yes, it's me. Man, you see, I was one of those people who, you know, this 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 word called wait was never part of my vocabulary. Wait. It wasn't part of my vocabulary. It's either I'm getting it now or forget you and I'll move somewhere else. But I tell you, oh boy. He says, wait on the Lord. I say wait. If I had waited on so many things. Hmm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know who I'm speaking this wisdom to. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But it's it's for your own good, yo. Listen. I I, I have I I have Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why do you, why? Be wise. Be wise. One of my favorite scriptures, which I usually, you know, quote after the broadcast, is in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. It says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. But in all thy getting, get understanding. Beloved, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 10, 11 will say to you that um, discretion will guide you. Understanding will keep you. When you have understanding of what I'm telling you, hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me leave you for now. Let me leave you. Beloved, we are living in the dispensation and under a covenant, a new covenant that is. And um, our helper is the Holy Spirit, whom Jesus says when he comes, he will guide us. Talking about the subject of guidance, you need to depend and rely on him for guidance. I'm doing that. Doing my best to do it. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, I tell you. Yes. Because mistakes are costly. I, I told you I'm, I, I, I ignore his guidance and directions and all that. And I, I went into a foolish and foolish, literally stupid atmosphere for over a decade wasted thousands of dollars so get that wait on the lord listen to the holy spirit now you may say well i i, I don't know the holy spirit well do you know jesus is he your lord and your savior The other day, after one of the brokers, somebody called me and says, I, I, I need the Holy Spirit. How can I get the Holy Spirit? My first question is, uh, um, have you made Jesus your Lord and your Savior? Uh, he says, no, no, I, 
I can't do that. I, I, I belong to a different religion. I said, well, I'm sorry. This is the person whose spirit has been, he's given his spirit to those who have received him. Bible says, as many has have received him, to them have been given the power of authority to become the sons of God. As many as receive him. So you are, you know, denying him, but you want his spirit. It doesn't work like that. You don't need no prayer or fasting to tell you this one. It's that simple. So you have to receive him. And the, 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 the important part, which I, I, I can't always stop injecting that here, Scripture says that, see, unless you don't believe the Word of God, un, unless you don't believe His Word, but Scripture says in John chapter 3, 36, whoever receives Him as Savior will have eternal life. And whoever refuses or rejects Him as Savior will not see eternal life. Rather, the wrath of God will continually abide with you. The wrath of God will continually abide with you. The opposite of what the Holy Spirit, when you receive Jesus and have the Holy Spirit is. Jesus says, the Holy Spirit will abide with us forever. And so it's the importance of receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior is, is, is key and vital. You, you, get a, you get a picture here. You receive him, you have everlasting life. If you don't refuse, you re receive him, you, you will not see uh, 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 eternal life. Rather, the wrath of God will abide with you. However, when you receive him, the Holy Spirit abides with you. Get that revelation. Is that simple? I don't need to go and fast and pray and tell you this one. Straight up. Why don't you want to receive him? And like I usually ask you, what do you think you have, you, you, you have to lose by, by receiving Jesus as your Lord and your Savior? What do you think you have to lose? Beloved, you ain't got nothing to lose. You have everything to gain. You have everything to gain. You are watching me. You are thinking. Uh, I, you know, if I receive Jesus and then I tell people I, you know, I've received Jesus, I'm born again, they're going to laugh at me. Beloved, it's about your relationship that matters. Have the people you are thinking about, have they been able to help you solve all your problems? They need help themselves. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 tells you, you and I that our, our theme for the year. Look to Jesus, the author and the perfecter of your faith. Look to him. He is the one. Nobody else. Make him your Lord and your Savior right now. He says, if you are ashamed of me before men, men, mere men, I will be ashamed of you before my Father who is in heaven. You don't want that? I mean, look at what is going on around us right now. Beloved, the Bible says it's appointed, it's appointed to man once to die and after that judgment. God ain't going to judge you because of the sins. He's going to judge you because of your belief in His Son, Jesus Christ, whom He sent to come and redeem you from your sins. See, get that revelation here. He, he sent somebody to come and save you from your sins. You reject that. And you think he's going to judge you because of your sins? Your sins are too many. I mean, as a matter of fact, you, God ain't going to judge you because of your sins. He's going to judge you because of your belief. Did you receive whom I sent to deliver you from your sins? For God so loved the world, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, He sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever receives Him will not perish, but you have everlasting life. Think about that. I mean, it's, it's given to you like this. Why do you want to reject it? Yes, brother, I, I want to receive Jesus. Yes, I hear you, and I want to pray with you. 
close your eyes so you don't get distracted by anybody and let it come out of your your belly out of your heart Romans chapter 10 tells you and I we believe in a heart and we confess him with a mouth that God raised him from the dead will be saved. open your mouth right now and say Lord Jesus I thank you for this message I thank you for this teaching I have an understanding that I am a sinner of unbelief in you I repent of my sins and I ask you to forgive me now Lord Jesus I, re I believe you in my heart I receive you right now and I confess that you are Lord and that God raised you from the dead seated at his right side and making intercession for me now Jesus baptize me with your spirit the spirit you spoke about your Holy Spirit that will be with 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 me forever and that I may get the right direction I may get the right counsel I may get the right guidance to all truth I thank you now Jesus in your name I pray amen and amen listen you just did that you are born again the Bible's Bible said John chapter 3 verse verse 3 Jesus told Nicodemus the academ academ academian who knew the law he, he was educated education without the Holy Spirit is foolishness he says how can one who is grown born and grown go back to the mother's womb to be born again Jesus says no you of all people talking to you about spiritual birth born again is a spiritual birth so re it's your it's the newness of who you are this is this is just an early early clothes we have on this body but the real you you are a spirit make sure you get yourself a copy of the word of God the Bible okay this now if you don't have one I cannot afford one make sure you reach out to us okay make sure you reach out to us um, use the email that is crawling okay use the email or go to the website of this ministry look for the the uh, the area you see comments put that in do put that information there and your request as well all right we are having some technical stuff with our phone lines and i believe hopefully by the end of the day it will be done so in case after this broadcast you want to reach out to us please use the email address or go to the website and and um make that request also let me know that yes you have given your life to jesus today i have a gift for you put your address and information there and we'll reach out to you and send you that that gift okay all right i hope you've learned something i look forward to seeing you same time tomorrow god willing as always you don't have no trouble all you need is your faith in god now i want to encourage you with something make sure you go to our website all right and um take your time and go through there see who we are see what we do and also if you want to be a financial contributor to this ministry you have the opportunity to do that over there your information is secured our system secures your information you know from other people whose job is to want to just be bad so I want to assure you of that okay be free and uh, you are not under any obligation or any duress or any pressure for you to do that but feel it see in your heart if you this ministry has been a blessing to you and you want to contribute also so that we can get more Bibles and we can you know um, be a help to the orphanage the widows and those in need request comes to this ministry from various places you have no idea in here and outside this country and we do our best to meet them so be a blessing okay through this to somebody else and um, the most important blessing I want you to do is for you to share this broadcast share this this ministry put it on your timelines and send it to your friends and loved ones 
and all that. Just be a blessing. Okay? As you have received that. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you same time tomorrow. Until then. Until then. Have an epic day. You don't have no trouble at all. All you need is your faith in God. And in all thy getting, get understanding. God bless you.